Allow yourself plenty of time to get to the bus stop so you don't have to run. Go to your bus stop at least five minutes before your bus is due to arrive. When you see the bus coming, line up at the bus stop sign, so that the bus driver knows you want to take the bus. Remember not to stand too close to the curb. Have your money, ticket, transfer, presto card, or bus pass ready. Make sure the bus has come to a complete stop and the doors open before you get on the bus. Show your pass or pay your fare. Remember to ask for a transfer if you need one. Try to find a seat close to the bus driver. If you are in a priority seat, you may need to give it up later for someone with a disability or an elderly person or pregnant woman. If you need to stand, hold on to the rails. Always stand behind the yellow line by the bus driver. Do not lean against the doors even if the bus has stopped. Remember to be polite and respectful to others. Take only one seat and keep your feet out of the aisle. Pay attention on the bus. Don't fall asleep or get too distracted because you don't want to miss your stop. There are some different ways to know when your stop comes. You can listen to the announcement. Next stop, Main at Wellington. Watch out the window to look for landmarks or look at the display screen. or politely ask someone. You can also ask the bus driver to let you know when the bus gets to your stop. To get off the bus, pull the yellow cord above the window. Do this before the bus reaches your stop. You can also push one of the stop buttons on the handrails. When you exit the bus, carry your bag in front of you so that it won't get caught in the doors. Sometimes people have service dogs to help them get around. Never pet or feed a service dog. Sometimes people in wheelchairs take the bus. People in wheelchairs get on the bus before everyone else. You may need to move seats to make room for the person in the wheelchair.
do not touch someone else's wheelchair. This video is a general overview that is not intended to replace the instruction that may be necessary to meet individual needs or to cover safety considerations specific to a given transit route. It is part of a comprehensive travel training curriculum and is posted in the interest of information exchange. Neither Community Access to Transportation nor the Salvation Army Loss and Ministries Hamilton assumes liability for its contents or use thereof. The information contained in the video content posted represents a demonstration of the type of instruction participants in the Community Access to Transportation program CAT, may receive and does not necessarily represent the views or opinions of the City of Hamilton, the City. The mere appearance of video content on this channel does not constitute an endorsement by the City of such video content. The video content has been made available for information and promotional purposes only. The City does not make any representations or warranties with respect to the accuracy, applicability, usefulness, IP rights, fitness, reliability, or completeness of the video content. The City hereby disclaims any and all liability to any party for any direct, indirect, implied, punitive, special, incidental, or other consequential damages arising directly or indirectly from any use of the video content, which is provided as is and without warranties. Copyright Community Access to Transportation Hamilton, 2012 to 2019, all rights reserved. Administered by the Salvation Army Lawson Ministries Hamilton, funded by the City of Hamilton.